Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky. This is Alon Paul, and we are doing our permadeath playthrough. As you know from the last episode, we were going through the missions here at the base and trying to finish them up because, well, as I've said before, in regards to these, I want to finish out all the secondary missions, including Dreams of the Deep, which will be a longer episode. Uh, Planet in Distress, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a settlement as well, and we'll complete out the rest of these, including the base computer archives, as far as we can get them. You can only get them to about 99%. After that, we're going to do the Atlas Path, including, and I don't see it on here now, creating a remem remembrance. So we'll be doing that with the next Atlas interface. And we'll be going through the Atlas missions and then going all the way to the center of the galaxy. So let's go ahead and get started. So we need to create a Romer Geo Bay. In order to make one of those, it requires. Five metal plates, two ion batteries, and 50 paraffinium. Now, paraffinium I do have. Go ahead and get some out of our storage container. Wow, right down to 50. Perfect. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the uh, minor settlement I have here. Rather than use up all my ferrite, I'm going to go ahead and just get from this trade terminal a bunch of metal plates. Here we go. Actually, you know what? How many can I purchase? Can I purchase all of them? Yeah, just get them all. Got them all. We'll put them on our inventory because I have a funny feeling we're going to need them. Not, we're not going to keep them in our inventory, but we'll put them in the storage container. <clears throat> Excuse me. Recording a lot tonight, so I'm losing my voice on occasion. Okay, let's see. There. Get rid of you two. I don't need you. All right. So, what else we need? We needed one more thing, right? Uh, two ion batteries. We can do that pretty easily. <laughs> one and two. There we go. Let's make our Romer Geo Bay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to be lining up. This is the reason why I built over here is because I have more room on the outside. I'm going to build them all over here. There you go. And there he is. The Romer. Awesome Exocraft. Probably one of the more fun ones to, to, to play around with. So now that it's built, we got to head back to our Exocraft technician. Ensign who? Interloper. Have you constructed the Romer Geobay? Grah, tell me once you have. You, we must scan this world. We must find its signals, its secrets. Confirm. Good. Here's a blueprint for an Exocraft radar. This augmentation will allow you to discover buildings and signals from afar. But Interloper... Know that it disgusts me that you lack so much knowledge. Sounds like one of my teachers I had in high school. Okay. Do not delay, interloper. You have the means. Now set about the construction of the signal booster. I do not know how I feel about this warrior. I do not know whether I have made a mistake, but there is nothing to be done. The Viking has honored their word. I will honor mine. The Viking asked me to install the signal booster in my new exocraft. Okay. So, let's move some things around. And the signal booster is right here. Chromatic metal and microprocessors, so we can put the chromatic metal in. We need to make nanotube, microprocessor, and we now have it installed. Done. Wait a couple moments, and the icon should pop up over whose head. Whose head? His head. Who? Who? Exactly. Ensign who? Who? We could have some fun. Yep, I know. We're supposed to construct the radar. We did it. Just got the check mark. Wow, this one's taking a lot longer than usual. Return to the technician. Finally. Wow, that took a while. Once we have the Exocraft radar, we can map this planet. Are you ready for what happens next? <clears throat> Engine who waits, expecting me to announce my success in the construction of the Exocraft radar. Hand it in. Your timing is fortuitous, Traveler. Take these blueprints. Uh, mounted Cannon. Hopper 100 and Pugnium 50. Okay. In your absence, I have made a grave discovery. There are Sentinel Depots on this world. Gra! No kidding, they're on almost every world. Doofus. They are everywhere, even the latest in this last refuge. Track one down, Traveler. Destroy the depot and bring me its precious contents for use in my work. Henson who requires me to use my Exocraft radar to locate a depot and steal the material from within. They will use the substance to create an exo to create an exocraft boosters. Except, 
Hurry, interloper. Interloper, do not permit the sentinels to pollute your world. Oh, this ought to be fun. Okay, so we needed... Uh, let me just get into the exocraft here. Let's see. Cannon. Copper, we need 50 pugnium. Let's grab some from here. There we go. I don't like to keep extra pugnium in my inventory. I like to keep as much inventory open as possible. Okay. Let's go find them. Alright, we're now in this exocraft. The exocraft drives differently. You look in a direction, use your mouse to look in a direction, and just go straight. And it goes that way. The space bar gives you a jump. The run button gives you a boost. So, you hit the X button, we want to do a scan for depots. Depot detected. It will, and unlike other scanners, it will find one as close by as possible. Yeah, it's over that way. Seven minutes and twenty seconds. Let's go. Now we're supposed to take our... Roamer. And it will go over pretty much any terrain. Just try not to fall into a cave. And it will blow through anything as well. Anything that's in the way, it'll just run it right over and destroy it. So I try to aim for the top of mountains. And then I jump and boost at the same time. That's a lot more fun, isn't it? Look how pretty this planet is. I keep saying that, I'm sorry. Should be quiet now. Lots of sentinels on this planet, I tell you. Whoops. Nothing like going sideways. Oh, crap. Guess what we ended up. In a cave. That's okay. We're out. You can always dig your way out. Use your train manipulator to dig your way out. Alright, how far away? Five and a half minutes, it says. Or so it claims. I'm going to show you a little trick here. So once we get there and we do what we gotta do with this... Oh, that's interesting. I always wanted to see what that would do. Never used the cannon on this before. So once we get there and we blow this thing to smithereens... We're gonna call in our ship... And fly back, and then we'll recall our exocraft back to the, uh... Back to our base. Okay. Up the hill we go. Whee! All the way down. I think my favorite... Uh, the Nomad is a pretty good one. Uh, this, is, this is the Roamer. The Nomad unit is actually pretty good. It uh, can go across water, whereas the roamer can't go across water very easily. It just gets bogged down. Um, the pilgrim, which is a which is a motorcycle style one, looks more like a bat bat ch bat chopper, if you will, from Batman. Um, is actually the fastest of them, and is actually to me, I think it's a lot more fun. Now that I've ridden it a few times doing the. Uh, the, what do you call it, Stranded Challenge, I kind of understand, and I think I like it. One of the, my better ones, anyway. Uh, Nautilun, underwater, it's the only one you can get underwater, and it is what it is. No, not too tickled by it. Uh, let's see, what other ones you have? You have the Colossus, which is great for cargo capacity, but slow as heck. Not one I'm very keen on. But it's okay to have. I feel like I'm missing one. 
but we'll get there when we get there. Wow, this thing really eats up fuel, doesn't it? Uh, where are you? There you are. This one takes carbon, condensed carbon, or oxygen. We know we have a ton of oxygen back at the base, so I'll use some of that this time. Did I pass it? No, there it is. I didn't mean to, uh, to scan. It just happens sometimes. Down we go. Okay, we're almost there. It says we have a minute to go to get there. Less than a minute now. Whoops, oh, I ran into one of those, uh, what do you call it? Educational stones in the middle of the ground. Those things do not move. Try not to run into them. Okay. Should be right in front of us. Slow down. Alright, let's see what we can do here. How far do we have to be? How close do we have to be to hit those things? At this resource, resource depot. Let's find out, shall we? Is that everything? I think we did it. Did I do it? Let's just check. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, yep, we're done. I don't know if they can find me or not. They're just flying. And I don't think they can find me while I'm in my exocraft. That's interesting. I did not know this. Carbon, radon, granitine, granitine, and aronium. A little bit of carbon. Should be in my person. Fascinating. Okay, so we're not going to jump out of the ship just yet. Oh, well, we're stuck anyway. Well, let me see. Ha-ha-ha! Oh, it's because we damaged something. They're going to restart their timer. Oops, just ran over another animal. It keeps restarting the timer, and I don't know why. Let me just hold still. Bye every time I destroy something. There we go. Deactivated. See? Pull the ship in. And we'll fly back. And then we'll call in the exocraft. And we're done. Much easier, right? So instead of seven minutes to, to, to drive back on the roamer, we just take ten seconds to get back to our base this way. A little bit faster, right? Actually, if I had boosted my engines, we could have got there in half the time. Anyway, no big deal. And we're back. Before we go anywhere. Gotta have the items, right? Nope, that's modification. And he's back. In we go. Hey, buddy. Who do you know? Have you obtained the materials I seek, interloper? Divine elements forged from the sentinels themselves? They will shield us from their sight. And in 100 gold. I can't get to it. Hold on. So it wants 100 gold. Which is not there. So now I have to go into my inventory and find 100 gold. Oh. It's more over here, actually. There you are. There we go. I'll keep on. I'll keep the good stuff, pal. And you can have your gold. Have you obtained the materials? Hand in the gold. 
Good, I shall use it to forge Exocraft boosters for your future expeditions. Uh, 15 magnetized ferrite, 50 chromatic metal, and 2 carbon nanotubes. None of us lives a life alone, Traveler. All of us from form attachments, and I must shed this last vestige of mine. I left my consort and spawned behind in my household. On my homeworld, pardon me. My crimes were my own, but they... I must know what has happened to them. They have sent me an encrypted transmission. You will use the, the Exocraft boosters to reach it before my brethren in inevitably delete it. In the process, we can pull mining laser technology from the network. Ra, we will kill two Gek with one blast. You're standing next to one. That wasn't very polite. Ensign Who requires me to use my Exocraft boosters to reach a terminal quickly enough to receive any an encrypted transmission. They believe we may also acquire an Exocraft mining laser blueprint from the Viking network. Except, Be vigilant. Be quick. I acquire this message. I must know what happened to those I left behind. Okay. Um... I don't have the... There it is. <laughs> there we go. Booster's in place. So where is this place? It's over there. 23 minutes away on foot. But guess what? We're not going to take the Exocraft. There's no one in their right mind would do that. It's taking me back to the resource depot? That makes no sense. Okay, let's see what happens. It is the resource depot. Yep, destination reached. Not the destination. Oh, it's over there. Wow, that was weird, right? How much time do we have? I have no idea. I guess we'll find out, right? I could have boosted there, but, you know, this will still be quicker. Eh, skim the surface. We're good. Just impacted on the surface. Start your run. Oh, how interesting. Landing pad. I'll take it. Thank you. Need five minutes to spare. Okay, we're at the terminal. Loading transmission, decrypting subspace frequency, error, interception. Witness the price of your heresy, fugitive of the Viking. Know that there is no sky in which we cannot find you, no system to which you might flee unscathed. Hide, then, in the depths of this galaxy, for we are patient. Know that your spawn wept like mewling geck as we cut them down, that we killed your consort as they fled, leaving the others behind to suffer. Or shall you ever find peace knowing these things? And transmission. The message is not what I expected. The technician told me to retrieve a transmission from their family, but this... I must return and decide what to do. Before the transmission closes, I pull the Exocraft mining laser blueprint from the network. Okay. Which I can build right now. Okay. Data connection closed. Return to the technician. I'm going to pick up a couple items from here. And on our way. Some more nanites. And we are on our way back to our base. So, yeah, we're going to tell them the truth, because that's me. Just that simple. It's the way I do things.
Let's make sure I don't have anything in here. Okay, we can put the mining laser in too, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'll put you down here. That's fine. Magnetized ferric, chromatic metal, life support gel. We now have mining laser. Bang. Okay, so we completed the installation. Just gotta wait until it completes so we can talk to the Exocraft technician. There we go. Hey, who? My preparations are almost complete. Soon I will purge myself of my old life, of my old attachments, to commit fully to what I must become. But, even I will, if I will remember nothing, I must know. I must know, Traveler. Have you retrieved the transmission? They are frenzied at my approach, excited. Whatever this transmission might contain, whatever system it has been sent from, it would seem to matter a great deal to the Viking. Say that you have. Technician tells me they're going to clean their mind to prepare for their holy task. Before they remove all of their thoughts, they wish to know what happened to their family. I must know, Traveler. Tell me what my consort said. Tell me of my spawn. Please, I have waited so long. The technician was expecting to intercept a message from their consort and spawn, but instead... Instead, I discovered that their family had been killed, murdered by other Viking in retaliation for their heresy. As they stand before me, expectant nervous, I do not know, what, know whether to tell the truth. Truth. Always. I, I leave me, traveler. We Viking prepare for death our whole lives, but this... Who am I now will... Who I am now will die with them, lost in the obliteration of time and memory. Thank you, friend, for what you have done. When we speak, I will be reborn. When we next speak, I will be reborn. Okay, we're speaking to him again. I am... I am reborn without attachment. I can focus now. Focus on what I must do. Ra, you will require a mining beam in the days to come. Construct one and I will craft you a nomad exocraft befitting an alkalite of Na. Naal. Their face is different. Beneath the eyes, beneath the soul, they have changed irrevocably. Where once they would insult me with meaningless threats, now they speak only of a singular purpose. Where once they would be capable of happiness or grief, now they care only about their cult, about their supposed purpose. The technician asked me to build an exocraft mining laser, promising, me, promising to craft me the blueprint for a new exocraft, the Nomad. Agree. The world will change. It must. It has to, Traveler, or else all of this, everything we have done, will all, it will have been for nothing at all. Okay. Struck the mining laser, which I th think we already did, right? Yep. Okay. Just gotta wait. There's the check mark. And we go back to who? I think there's an owl in here. Who? Exactly. Have you built the mining laser? I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoy working by, with Viking technology. Nothing refines the design of a machine like using it in combat. Even if that combat is against the earth. <laughs> Confirm it is built. Nomad Geobay, 5 metal plates, 2 ion batteries, and 50 paraffinium. Excellent work. Your ex exocraft mining laser should be powerful enough to extract even magnetized ferrite from this planet. Witness the art of the mech priest that I can create such marvels. Gra. This universe is a mystery, Traveler. Living lives are spent in solving it. We shall do our part. The technician needs me to gather magnetized ferrite, a hyperdense material that must be refined. My life will be made easier with the Exocraft mining laser, able to harvest pure ferrite from large deposits. The technician will use this to, be, to craft an upgrade for my Exocraft radar. Except, They say the Viking first rose to the stars and ships crafted from pure magnetized ferrite. Who knows what we will accomplish? Okay. How much magnetized ferret does he want? 50. No, oh, we already got it. What do you know? Alright, so... What is the Nomad Greek? There's the Nomad Geobay. I will return in a moment. Give me a minute. I need three. Two. I need one. There we go. And I needed what? Two ion batteries, right? Let's get those. One, two, and what was the other thing? The circuits, was it? Five metal plates. That's going to be over here. No, not there. Here. And we will 
put you down here. And there is your Nomad with hover pads. Those are pretty cool ships. Okay, back to the technician. There we go. Have you brought the magnetized ferrite traveler? The signals are out there. I know they are. All you need is a signal booster capable of detecting them. Give magnetized ferrite. Gave the technician the ferrite they requested. As they work with it, I examine their station. It is barren now, lacking the flaws, the personality of their previous equipment. I cannot help but miss the way they were before, or all this newfound efficiency and focus. The flaw of their individuality, forever gone, drowned within their great purpose. Got a radar amplifier, chromatic metal, two ion batteries, and a mic two microprocessors. Take this signal booster, upgrade it. When it is constructed, I have something else for you. Compensation for your work. I have been analyzing your exocraft telemetry, you see. It seems that my previous incarnation did not even provide you with the most basic in exocraft weapon upgrades. Gra, forgive the Viking that I was, Alkalite. It is not polite to withhold firepower. The technician requires me to craft an upgrade to my signal booster, promising me upgrades to my weapon system. Accept it. Your technology multiplies. Soon your exocraft will be the envy of all you encounter. Go, traveler. Build your upgrades. I will continue my great work. We Radar upgrade. Well, we're not putting it in you. We're going to put it in the other one for now. If we get a pilgrim, I'll put it in there. But So that's going to be this one. And we need... One, two, one, two, one, two. Should be it. Two batteries, two microprocessors, sir. It is now installed. Okay. What else did we need to do? Okay. I think we're done. Turn to the technician. Who knew? Gra, the blueprints of your weapons upgrade are ready, interloper. Have you improved your scanning equipment yet? Yes. Technician gives me blueprints for weapons upgrade, as, but as they pass them to me, the alert begins to sound in their terminal. Their search is almost complete. A scan has found something. That you chose this world of all worlds to make your home out of the infinite possibilities. I did not think it possible my scans have uncovered the truth. Now visited themselves, visited this place. We shall uncover their final words. Use your upgraded exocraft radar to locate this planet's abandoned structures. Bring me the nanite clusters contained within, and I will use them to forge a new acceleration module for the trials ahead. The Viking claims that this Null, the namesake of their cult, once visited my planet. I do not know if this is true. I walk through worlds of ruin and wonder at these peoples. I walk through worlds of ruin and wonder at these peoples, at their obsession with their past, at their hatred that tore them asunder. I wonder what the future might hold, what secrets might echo out through the, through the hub of creation. A technician requires nanite clusters to infiltrate their final ritual. They have an exocraft boosters waiting for my return. Except, Tread carefully, traveler, in all abandoning thing. That's very weird. In all abandoning things there grows a rot. In all abandoned things, there grows a rot. It's not spelled properly. Take the nanite clusters and leave before something notices your theft. Okay. Go ahead and install that. That's no problem. That's an Exocraft cannon module to boost the cannon. Nope. It's going to go over here. There we go. All right. Now... Um, okay, it says to go back to them. I guess that's because I have nanites on me. Have you obtained nanite clusters? Oh, yeah. Give the nanite clusters. Definitely. A technician takes nanite clusters. As they hold them, they appear to enter some strange trance. After a moment, it is done. There is a strange look behind their eyes. Ensign Hu informs me that they have taken communi communion with their ancestors. They know what they need to do. <clears throat> Traveler, my work is complete. I have over overridden the ley lines, charged their holy data. And they have revealed to me a monolith, a tomb for the final prophecy. If you go there before the ley lines close off, you and you alone will uncover the truth behind my species, the mystery for which Nal died. 
A monolith has been activated. If I reach it quickly enough, I will gain this forbidden knowledge. Accept. The te technicians serve their holy purpose, driven to obliterate their own personality in pursuit of this very day, this very moment. I do not know if their sacrifice will be in vain. Okay. We got a boost module out of it, too. Let me just go ahead and install that. Uh, probably up there. Very good. Monolith detected in 5 minutes and 33 seconds. Uh, where is it? Monolith is over there. So guess what? We'll take a ship. We'll take our spaceship instead. It is 10 seconds from my house. Good grief, that means I had a monolith this close to me? That is awesome. Oh, okay, it isn't a portal. Boom. Okay, here we go. Monolith. The voice of Nal. I approach the monolith. I am engulfed in its terrible truth. I see its words in the text of a thousand tongues. In the ephemera of countless stars? Ephemera? Submit. No? Witness. Know that I heard the word of the Atlas where Herc had heard nothing. I witness events that occurred millennia before my awakening. I see two Vikings standing before a red glow asking it of the universe. Witness. It says, submit or witness is the only two I got. I'm going to witness everything. In their rage, this is the voice of Nal, in their impotent jealousy, Urk struck me from the mountain and I saw the truth of what the monolith had said, that my end would be an awakening, that in this dream nothing should perish. I see a Gek and a Corvax waiting side by side before me, and before the vision ends I see a vision of something I have not seen before, of something that does not belong in this or any place, of hatred, grief, despair, of something that is yet to come. Pay attention to this, folks. We're going to witness. The voice of Nal. Or so it would be until the coming of the last traveler. So it would be until the destruction of realities. Know this, the final testament of Nal. I see the end of time, the end of all things, and in that crimson light, there is a figure. Its hand held out before eternity. Its hand held out before... Think about this for just a second. I'm going to read through this again. In that crimson light... What is crimson light? Fire... There's a figure, its hand held out before eternity. Does it remind you of the hand below the crimson light of light no fire? I see all this and then it is over. The monolith has nothing more to show me. Leave. I leave, shaken by my experience. As I go, I feel something right behind me, breathing, watching. When I turn, it is gone. So what do you think? Do you think we could be looking at all of this being tied together the more i think about it i kept thinking that light no fire would just be a a game on its own nothing special just a different type of game now i'm beginning to think that they really had this in mind all along that they planned on almost every single world in the universe of no man's sky to be just like the planet from light no fire or what it's supposed to be anyway fascinating what an interesting thought. Back to the technician. Who is here? Landview Traveler. I see the words of Nal themselves. To see the words of Nal themselves. Gra. With this discovery, you have indicated the actions of a thousand martyrs, Traveler. You deserve your reward. You deserve the Colossus, the largest exocraft in my arsenal. Use it and strike terror upon your enemies. The Viking believed that their ancestor Herc received wisdom from a great monolith initiating a war against the Sentinels and slaying Nal the Objector. The monolith I discovered proves that this history is a lie. Nal was honored with a vision whilst Herc had been met with only silence, and in their jealousy, Herc murdered Nal. Yet I am left with questions. I am left thinking of the creature I felt watching me. I am left with dread. A technician offers me the Colossus Geobase schematic. Accept it. The technician passes me the schematic. As they do, their eyes beam with pride and sadness. Colossus Geobay. 100 paraffinium this time, 2 ion batteries, and the 5 metal plates. I have transmitted Null's testament to my brethren traveler. 
What you have learned this day will spread amongst the Viking and will change our people for the better. Ra. And if violence is required for change, so be it. As for you, you are not as pathetic as I once believed. You are no longer interloper. You are one of us, now until the end of time itself, enthroned in the glory of the Colossus. The technician waits anxiously to see my Colossus exocraft in its full glory. I watch as they begin to forge and upgrade my exocraft mining laser, surrounded by schematics and charts. Agree to build it. If the Colossus is a fine craft, they say her can now road one together before their end. Okay. Let's go build it. So we need four batteries, right? And do this my exosuit. One, two, three, four. And we need... 100 paraffinium. And was it four? Five. My five metal plates. Okay, we get the rest from our inventory over here. 100 paraffinium. Twelve more. Three more. Yeah. And we need five metal plates. I'll take the metal plate out of here. And we need four more. There we go. Let's make this thing. And this is truly the biggest of all of them. It is a big mama. Look at the size of that thing. Woof. Big sucker. He'll give us all the rest of the uh, Exocraft schematics as well. And who? You who? Have you constructed the Colossus to obey? Have you struck terror into the hearts of all those who oppose you? Confirm. Gra, I can't fully answer. You must strike terror if you are to succeed in Life Traveler. You will subju subjugate this world with the power of the Colossus. Here is an Exocraft vehicle laser upgrade to assist with the task. Advanced Exocraft laser, 50 pugnium, 50 chromatic metal. I have almost exhausted the limits of my work, but soon you shall have mastery of this planet's signals that, and the speed with which to reach any threat. I require only sufficient nanite clusters to build the final blueprints. Gra, this employment has been one of glory. The correct technician requires more nanite clusters to create an upgrade for my exocraft radar. Something is wrong. Some time ago, I saw the Viking with an image of their family before they performed some ritual to erase such attachments from their mind. As I approach now, I see that same image. The technician stares at it, blinking for a few moments with an empty expression. When they notice me, they remove the photograph from the display. We do not speak of it again. I do not wish to awaken their pain. They desire only nanite clusters, not my sympathy. Agree. As I said before... Be careful in those abandoned buildings, Traveler. Do not lose yourself in the hunt. Return to the Technician, because I obviously have plenty of nanites on me. Do you have the nanite clusters? Give them to me, please. The Technician's hands shake, and then it is then that I notice the blueprint is already waiting in the technician, on the Technician's terminal. They require these nanite clusters for some alternative purpose. They are desperate for this substance, refusing to hand over the blueprints without them. We give them. By Keen takes them greedily. Turning to imbibe them, whatever effect this matter has upon the alien it appears to calm their movements considerably. Sated, they offer me the blueprints. Radar power resonator. A-class radar upgrade. Two ion batteries and 50 gold. And chromatic metal, of course. The nanite clusters. Their purpose is commonly misunderstood. They form the backbone of much, of much technology, but they are not just machines. They can alter hearts, alter minds, even allow us to forget... That which we cannot bear. The technician has a final reward, an acceleration module upgrade for my Nomad Exocraft once I have constructed its Geopay. Except, good, let me know when the Nomad Geopay is built. Gra, I cannot wait to witness its glory. So there's the radar power resonator. Return to the technician because guess what? I've already built it. Our work is almost concluded, but every end is a beginning. I am too weak to travel as I once did, too tired to continue my pilgrimage. With your leave, I shall remain here to stand by your side against your enemies. Gra, woe betide those who would transgress against us. The technician offers me the final acceleration mod module. Take it. It has been a pleasure working with you, traveler. Return when you are ready. I have a proposition for you, a lucrative and repeat repeatable venture. 
Traveler, I have detected a location of monetary interest. Go that you may hone your control of the exocraft. Track down the signal before it disappears that we may siphon its units. The technician has hacked a terminal to siphon its units. If I get to the location fast enough, I will be able to transfer the units to my account. They spend their days doing this now, tending the, to the exocraft and drawing data from interplanetary, interplanetary networks. Sometimes I see them walking out into the planet itself to explore, but such times are rare. The technician is content with this retirement, engaging in fugitive activity for the pleasure of the chase, no longer for the necessity of survival. It is a game we can repeat, one last heist after one last heist. Agree to go. Hurry, Gra. Okay. So, that is all of the episodes this one will have. Oh, I can't put it in there. I gotta go to the Nomad to do it. So, the terminal is in 3 minutes and 51 seconds. That's okay. We're gonna go to the Nomad real quick. We're gonna install this. Real quick, because this is where it goes. There you go. And where is this thing at? It is there, ten minutes away. On foot. In the Nomad, it is... Two and a half minutes away, which means by ship, by starship, it should be a lot faster. Probably just around the corner. Literally five seconds. And it's an abandoned structure. Here we go. And we're already here. With minutes to spare. Abandoned terminal. We want to get rid of the goop on it. Terminal whirs into action, spitting out errata in its confusion. Siphoning funds from an intergalactic transaction directly into my account. Extract the records. As I go, I think to myself, glad I am that my technician can hack these networks. They claim that they can do this a thousand times and not be caught by any authorities. Both that my fugitive friend is right. Uh, not bad. 34,000 units. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and gather up things from inside here. Uh, I don't really see anything else, to be honest with you. That looks like it's pretty much it. Except for that guy who just smacked me in the head from the ceiling. Hate those tentacles. Alright, we're done. So we're done with the Exocraft guy. We're going to return and be done with it. So that concludes the Exocraft um, missions, I guess we'll call them. Whoa. Didn't mean to do that. And down we go. And we'll go ahead and finish this particular... Mission, we're all done, right? That's it. Excellent. Let's check our log. Do we really need to do that? No, we don't need to do that. Install radar power resonator. I'm going to unpin that. Now we're done. We're down to one screen of... Well, I'll be darned. That concludes all of the base missions. We're done with them. There's nothing more to do. We are complete. Excellent. Okay, so that brings us to this. We're about 40 minutes into this one. We have base computer archives, planet distress, dreams of the deep. These are the next things. We do want to get to this because I do want to install the survey device, which is right here, and we need a quantum computer and three magnetic resonators, which we should have. I think they're in here. Quantum computer. There we go. And three magnetic resonators. I have one. But I think I can make more. Yes, we got it. Excellent. So now we can put it in our multi-tool and upgrade this, and we'll complete that with a particular one. Done. Excellent. So now when you go into your menu here and you hit the F, you now have multiple options at the bottom, which you can scroll through. So gas, deep level mineral, hotspot for power, which course we don't have here obviously I never can find one and then location for targets and then finally back to your main scanning so that's done let's go back to here 
Search for a power hotspot. Oh, you're a pain in the neck. Let's take this for a spin real quick. It's pretty fast. So just jump out and take a look. And we're going to go to power. Right here. So we just want to keep doing that. And that'll complete this mission out. No power hotspots nearby. Oh, you're a pain in the neck. Doesn't even have to be a heavy power. That's fine. Look at that. Star, star bramble right down there at the slope. Whoa! That was cool. Okay. Take another look. Hey, we got one. Right there. We're right next to it. Just want to get within five. Right here. And then you should be able to analyze it. And boom. Got it. That completes our mission. I think. Yep, should get it in just a second. Watch the top left corner. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a second. Are you telling me... Hot spots. Yeah? He wants me to get a... A different one. Okay, hold on. Okay, we had discovered one at our base that was close by. Let's go back to the base. There about 200 blocks. Let's go head over there real quick. It's no use in taking our ship because the distances to travel are not very far. That way. Okay. 100 blocks away, so we shouldn't have to go far. Beggars. As long as they're not attacking me. Okay, good. What's next? Now we're going to have to do one more, which is going to be that. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, it's all done. Okay, let's call in our ship. Because we're going to have to fight off the pirates. It looks like there's two ships. Okay. Got him. Who's next? You. Got him. Nobody else. Weird. There's a whole lot of shaking going on, and I don't quite understand why. 
All right, so according to our log, that one's gone. Let's go do the base computer archives real quick. So we're just about done with our entire base. And we don't have any of the other geo bays, but we'll get them later. Wait, what's that? There we go. Okay. Okay. Recovery in progress. Data recovered 6%. Search the archives. Follows. Found additional buried technology modules. Construct construction proceeding smoothly. Recent expedition yielded something copying data to something. Additional data available. Construction lots recovered. Blueprints reassembled and prepared for download. Search them. Downloading plans. Storage container plans restored. So now we have the main storage container zero that we can build. Readable archive retrieval complete. Beginning defragmation of next segment. And okay. Oh, it wants me to construct the storage container. Let's go ahead and build it real quick. I'm going to do something weird and actually put it. Why can't I build it there? That's strange. It won't let me build it right next to it. I think I know why. Hold on. Probably because of that. That's what it was. Let's get the power wire rerun. There we go. And now they're all hooked up. Back to the base computer. And that's the thing about the base computer archive uh, missions. Is you just got to do what it tells you to do real quick. Input recovery pass key to proceed. So the problem is you have to guess the pass key now. So I'm just going to do autophage. Encrypted. Try again. Encrypted. Try again. Begins. Encrypted. Try again. Upgrade. Up, unlocked. Recovery in progress. Data recovered 15%. Search the archives. Maxis suit has directed me to do a crash. Starship controls react to my touch, and I can only assume it belongs to me. No memory of it, no sense of it before. Okay, blueprints. And I'm just not going to repeat that. Personal upgrade module this time. Okay, leave. So we have to install this movement module. Construct a solar panel. Already done that. We just got to wait. Okay, back to the... Already done. Recovery data. Input pass key. Uh, let's do already. Unlocked. Automatic archive recovery in progress. 27%. Search the archives. Oops, I didn't read that. Sorry. Construction logs recovered. Search the construction logs. Okay, leave. Another movement module. Install this teleport receiver in your starship. Already have. And we're back to the base computer. Progress. We got to unlock it. 32%. Search the archives. They came up from a surrounded back above ground now, but sure they're following me. Should never have touched the eggs. That's the, yeah, that's those guys. The horrors. Construction. Multi tool. Neural stimulator. Return. Readable archive complete. In defragmentation, defragmentation of next segment. Construct it. I've got to construct it no matter what I like to do. Okay, well, we'll construct it then. Uh, let's see. Put you over here. Put you over here. I'll put you in. Dramatic metal and carbon. All right, constructed. And archive ready. Covered. Input pass key to proceed. Already help or language. Let's go language. Encrypted still. Technology. Encrypted still. Let's go with research. Encrypted. Come on, man. Gra. Unlocked. Go figure. I'm archive in progress. Data recovered 42%. Search archives. 
The Sentinel drones patrols never seem to end. I claim so much from the Earth. Construction. Multi-tool technology. Efficient thruster plans. For my ship. Okay. It's a B-class. We can install that if there's enough room. Yes. So I have to install that whether I like it or not. And I don't even have any room in my inventory to do it. So we'll just put it over here. Hydrogen gel and tritium and wiring loam. Done. Oh, what was that in my inventory? Oh, is that what I think it is? For plasma launcher. An upgrade for it. Well, we're not going to use that, so we'll uninstall it. Okay. Phase beam. Infra knife. So oh, cool. Let's go ahead and install that. What does that give me? Plus four fire rate. Excellent. 32,000 now. But I'm out of uh, installation spots in my inventory. <laughs> no more spots available in my uh, ship. So that's going to be a problem. Okay, here we go. Recovered archive. Input passkey. Uh, convergence. Nope. Worship. Nope. Uh, 12. Nope. 16. Ooh. Didn't like that either. Okay. Multi-tool. Unlocked. Recovery in progress. Data covered 58%. Search. Having great success with advanced materials. Able to something far more efficient synthesis. It seems I can create something pathway to materials from all over the system. Additional data available. Construction logs recovered. Blueprints. Here we go. Base technology extracted. Downloading plans. Shield lattice plans restored, which is for me, not my base. Going to make me install that, isn't it? Yep, got to got to install it. Mm, let's put you over here. I need sixty sodium nitrate and an antimatter. There we go. Sixty sodium nitrate on its way. We need one antimatter. Looking, looking, looking. There it is. One antimatter. So suit. Get that put in. Refiner. It's amazing. We are 57 minutes, almost 58 minutes into this episode, and we have nearly completed every single task of the base. We've just about finished it all. So this was going to run a few minutes over, but that's okay. We'll get this done because I'm. So, we're so close, <laughs> to say the least. Good grief! Sorry, just check the temperature outside. A lot lower than I've seen it in a long time. At the recording of this, this was recorded in January. So, all right, sixty. There we go. That should get it installed. Done. Back to the base computer. Recovered, encrypted, passkey. We're going to go with Dream. Unlocked immediately. Automated recovery in progress. Data recovered 61%. Working fast. A fading sun set up camp in the foothills. Hardly luxury, but it keeps out the cold and I'll be gone by morning anyway. Perhaps some other traveler will shelter here one day. Additional data available. That's construction. And we get base lighting plans. Nice. Do I have to build one of those? Construct a white light. Uh, what do you need? Sodium. Okay, I'll put it on the outside of my door here. Okay, good. Right? That's it? That's all you needed? Yes, that's it. Moving on. Covered. Pass key again. Upgrade. Unlocked. 74%. I saw another one of them today. On the space station. They looked at me like I wasn't there. Stared right through was just a geck when I returned, imagining things? 
Yeah, travelers. Search construction. Appearance modifier plans. Excellent. Just got to build one of those. Which we will. And I'm not building it inside. It only takes 10 ferrite to build one. So we'll just put it right here outside. And it does not require power, I don't think. Nope, it does. Okay. Let's see, we'll run it over... Yeah, run it there. That's, that's fine. Okay, we have power. So now we can change our appearance at will. Covered archive, passkey... Where? Unlocked. Unbelievable, three in a row. Data recovered 82%. Thought I had hours to, but the daylight is already fading. The sun is slipping. Light barely penetrates the thick rings looping endless around this world. I need to hurry. Additional data available. Construction. What do we get? It says exosuit technology. Let's see what it is. Personal upgrade module. It actually is. Leave. Okay. Construct the Romer Geo Bay. Yes, we already did it. Back to the base computer. We're doing good. One hour, one minute. Pass key. Let's go Corvax. Nope, encrypted. Carapace. Achievement unlocked. Archive unlocked, I should say. 98%. Now we're getting somewhere. Time has come to move on. Something is calling me. I can own... I can blank on my starship communicator. Plotting route to the center. Which is what I'm planning. Log lost. And that's the end of it. Search the data, downloading plans, personal upgrade module, leave. Okay, construct the landing pad. We've already done that too. Back to the archive. Now, wait a second. It says search base computer archives, but that will always remain in here. So if we go into it, let me show you what happens. See? Nothing. We can select it. There it is. Hold on. Let me do it again. Archive for user iteration lost. Unavailable. Possible remote terminus backup available. We'll download coordinates. So now if we take this, we go to another space station and we'll just download information. And that's all we'll get. We might get some nanites or something like that. And that's pretty much it. So basically, we're done. So I'm going to leave. So there's no use in continuing the... This will remain in your secondary missions all the time. You will be able to do this over and over and over again, just like with your ExoCraft research dude. So community research just has to do with whatever community research is going on. We're not going to worry about that. Exploration guide just gives you basic information on objectives on certain planets that you're at. So the only ones we have left are Dreams of the Deep and Planet in Distress before we follow the Atlas path. So I think the next episode, what we're going to do is Dreams of the Deep, and then we'll do Planet in Distress. Okay, and then the planet in distress is going to be the settlements, and we're going to show you a little trick on trying to find a good settlement. Okay, so that should do it, folks, and we'll move on with the Atlas path and really start getting... Sent. Now, I notice it doesn't have the remembrance in here anymore. I don't know why. That's kind of weird. I thought you would be able to do that. Let me see if it's in here. Nope, it's not in here. Interesting. That kind of vanished from my inventory. So we'll see what happens with this. So we're pretty much done now. That should take care of it. We're done with our base. We just have some other other missions to do, and that's it. So we're going to go ahead and do this and save it. Check my inventory, make sure there's nothing I need to get rid of. We see that this is in here. We're going to be selling that. Uh, that is just an upgrade for a phase beam module. And this is an upgrade for movement module, which we don't need either. Um, we're probably going to delete some stuff out of our inventory only because uh, out of other stuff from our, what do you call it, the installs that they made us do. We might be getting rid of some of those. Got unstable plasma, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to put that in my starship for now. The gold we'll put in the starship too as extra stuff that we can use. And it, basically everything else in our inventory is going to stay put. So I think we're good to go. I think that should do it. So that is it for the base, finally. Good grief. Um, there we go, put my weapon away. All right, 
ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and call it quits here today. Thank you again for watching this episode, and we will see you in the next one where we're going to be really continuing on. Now things are going to be getting going a little bit more. So please hit that like and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you very much. We'll see you again next time. Take care, everybody.